Hey, everybody. Today is January 12th. I'm Mr. Sheridan. This is Natural Resources for today. So I hope everybody's having a great day. What we are going to cover today is for those students who are not doing a leadership contest. So if you are doing a leadership contest, that's what you should be spending your class time doing. These assignments are going to be exempt for you because you are spending your time working on a leadership contest. For those of you who are not doing a leadership contest, you, I, I do want to offer another opportunity. Uh, for some of our FFA members, you may know that uh, here in Dansville, through nobody's fault, it's just a, a, a number of members kind of an issue. We've never really had a strong parliamentary procedure background with a lot of our students. So what I would like to throw out there for any students who are not as interested in this career background information, if, you're, if you don't want to be hunting down things that are looking for jobs and summer opportunities and that sort of stuff, because that's what a lot of this is going to be doing. If you're not interested in trying to make resumes and cover letters right now, uh, maybe perhaps you're an underclassman who isn't quite ready to do a leadership contest yet, but wants to do some alternative assignments that, uh, that might be focused on another uh, skill that you can use in the future. I do want to offer that to everyone. So I'm doing this for a couple of students in zoology that are taking an extra class, that are taking it as an extra class. So in lieu of them doing a leadership contest, I'm going to start putting together some information and creating some assignments based on parliamentary procedure. For those of you who don't know what parliamentary procedure is, it's basically the rules for running a meeting. So any professional organization that's out there in well, if you want to include Congress as professional, that's a, that's a hairy issue. But uh, it's the way that our government meetings are all run. It's basically a rule book for how to run a professional meeting. Uh, it's a large focus of a lot of different contests in FFA. But because it's, you've got to have a team of people of usually six or seven, it's tough, especially in smaller schools like Dansville, to get a whole team together to get students that are all working to demonstrate in that contest. So if there is someone who is interested in that type of information, if you'd like to just learn about it a little more, now's the time because we're going to have this next few weeks where some students are going to be working on leadership contests and then everybody else is going to be doing this career focused information where you're doing assignments based on finding information out about careers in ag, food, and natural resources, and uh, learning about your career aptitudes, what works best for you. And that sort of thing, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff for those other students in class. But this would be a third option if it, that would be something that you'd be interested in. Please let me know. You can hang back after class or shoot me an email. Just let me know that that's something that you might be interested in. I'd be happy to uh, include you in that group that's already forming of students who are interested in learning a little bit about parliamentary procedure in lieu of some of the assignments that, uh, that we've already been talking about. So for today, for those other students. So if you are not doing a leadership contest and you do not want to focus on parliamentary procedure for a few weeks, this is your assignment for today. And in fact, it's gonna take us through the rest of the week. Well, let me share my screen here. So if you jump into our Google Classroom under week 20, assignment number 45 is, a, is called the Michigan Commodity Project. And what I would like all of you to do, and this is the wrong sheet. I'm going to pull up a different one. Um, if I can go, and I made edits to the one in zoology, so we're going to focus on this one. I'm going to post this same one so that you all have access to the same one. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick there in Michigan yesterday. We learned that there are over 300 commodities that are produced in Michigan. I want you to focus on one one that you are interested in, something that you are passionate about, something that you want to dive deep down into and do some research on. And we are going to, and I want you to create a slides presentation that highlights one specific commodity that is grown in Michigan. There's a whole list of examples here, or there's, you know, 250 more if, uh, if you would like to look into those. So you are going to, you need to include in your presentation, the scope of the commodity, meaning how much of it is produced. You can uh, reflect that as a dollar figure, how many dollars are produced in the state, how uh, whether there's total number of, if we're talking about cherries, say for instance, how many cherries are produced, uh, how many pounds of cherries are produced, how much money in cherries is produced, that sort of thing. There's a number of different ways to represent that, but somehow tell us how much of that commodity is being 
made or produced or mined or harvested here in Michigan. Uh, what is it used for? And then we're going to get into some of the career stuff, okay? So number one, you need to find three jobs that are related to that commodity and give us a short description about that job, how it's connected to it, what they do, and that sort of thing. Then we're also going to include five interesting facts about your commodity. And obviously with any slideshow that you're doing, for me at least, if you would like to get a good grade, you darn well better include some images because otherwise it's boring and that's never cool. So here is a grading rubric. This is just going to give you a general idea of what I'm weighing when I'm grading these. So to give you an idea of what I think is the most important, you're going to notice that focusing on those three jobs is going to be the most important thing, followed by the five interesting facts, and that your poster or that your slide, and we can change that word, presentation, is professional, well-designed, and appealing to the eye. If we were in class, you would be doing this in a group, you would be working on a commodity together, and then you would present these. We aren't uh, in person, so you're going to do one yourself. You're going to do it in a Google the Slides uh, presentation, but I'm not going to make you present it or post a video this time. I want you to do a thorough job getting this presentation done and focusing on one particular commodity, and I'm going to give you a few days to do it. So that is your project for the next couple of days that we are going to be focused on. You can start on this uh, today in class and then again tomorrow in advisory. Uh, for those of you who haven't gotten the message tomorrow, we have normal advisory uh, that's online at the normal meeting time that you usually meet with your advisory teacher. Next week, starting on January 20th, is when we will start in-person advisory and hopefully I get a chance to see many of you in person. So, with that, I hope that uh, feel free. If you have any questions at all, please email me. Let me know what's going on. And I'm happy to help give you more direction if you need it. And we will go from there. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you again on Thursday for sure. Have a great day.